What's going on everybody ladies and gentlemen simply pop 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 pops back at it again with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys the iOS 12.2 performance features on the iPhone 10. Now the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 is pretty much the same phone it has the same chipset same everything obviously different milliamp batteries but same exact performance so yeah so this is the iPhone 10 not 10s. And matter of fact one of the features if I go into settings general and about as you guys can see this is new it's a totally different about page so you guys can see you have your warranty information now I actually did not pay attention to the storage I just updated it and that was it but you will save some storage that's just according to the iPhone 6 I updated this thing from iOS 10 to iOS 12 um, so yeah, it did save some space on that. Another thing too, if I go into the control center, as you guys can see, this is a different icon, something totally new, very, very minor, but something that might give a new, fresh, new feeling. I don't know yet. And actually, if I go into settings, if I go into control center, I can customize control. I can activate the Apple TV remote. And then now I have the Apple TV. Now I actually do not have an Apple TV so I cannot show you guys this feature in action but if you have an Apple TV this will be perfect for you. You have your Apple TV remote right here on your iPhone or iPad. Now another thing new on iOS 12.2 is the news application. As you guys can see it's a brand new icon. I like it better than the old one. Um, and they have their new subscription service. So you have Apple News Plus, so you can, you know, subscribe, you get the magazines from Los Angeles Times, like just the latest and greatest Rolling Stones, you know, everything just looks beautiful. So if you're into magazines, this is going to be worth the upgrade just by itself. And you can actually start your free trial today for a month. And after that, it's going to charge you um, $10 a month. So not really a bad price because if you subscribe to this magazine, this magazine is going to add up really, really quickly. And of course you have your features tab, you have your cars, your entertainment, your food, you have everything right here on your fingertips, all the magazines right here. This will be perfect on the iPad in my opinion. Take advantage of the, the big beautiful retina display. You have one brand new Siri command. So now you can ask Siri to play a movie or show or video or sports game or a channel on Apple TV. Yet again, I do not have an Apple TV so I cannot show you guys this. Now next up we do have Animojis. So brand new Animojis for your iPhone 10. Uh, so you have the giraffe. Let me get into frame. I'm not even into frame. Blah, 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 blah. You have the giraffe, you have the shark, you have the owl, six god, six god. You have the the hawk, or the <laughs> the hog, I should say, the hog. <laughs> oink, 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 oink. Yeah, so brand new emojis. That alone might be worth the upgrade for you. So now you have some brand new screen time downtime options so you can schedule it so you can customize the days so but you can customize the time whatever you like and yeah it's just gonna let you know that you can't use your phone that day or you know it's just downtime the name is pretty self-explanatory now on apple maps you now have new information so on the bottom right corner you guys are going to see the temperature of the area and you're going to see the air quality so for example i can go to los angeles and you guys can see it's 66 degrees and the air quality is uh, 90. So it's moderate air quality, not the best. So yeah, and it, as you guys can see, it changes in real time. So you can go into San Diego. It's going to be a totally different story. 65, better air quality. Now, very few select devices shows an 5G e icon. Um, I guess AT&T is testing the waters on 5G. So it's only available on the iPhone 8 and later in the new iPad and yeah so it's AT&T testing out the waters but it's not true 5G it's, you just might see it so if you have 5G yeah so just just keep an eye on that I have Sprint so that's what it is alright let's open up Safari real quick and we're gonna type in something so this is a brand new functionality so let's say you're typing in something so you guys can see that blue arrow right there you can now tap on that and it's going to actually fill it in for you. Something that Apple should have added in a long time ago, but you now have it right here on iOS 12.2. Um, so you have YouTube videos, music, 
country and you can just fill in the blank so you can tap on stuff without actually searching for it it's just going to fill it in just like that now you do have more security features on safari so it's going to let you know that you're on an unencrypted website recommended that you get out of there don't put any information there whatsoever so it's going to say right there on the address bar i'm not secure also apple has removed advertisers from tracking you and overall just improvements to security when using safari you do have some changes to the wallet application according to the patch notes here it says apple pay cash customers can now transfer money to their bank accounts instantly using their visa debit cards and the wallet app now consistently display the transactions right below the card and overall guys just typical improvements bug fixes you know any issues that you may have you might want to upgrade to this this is apple's refine update yet i mean it's kind of early to say they did fix the bug where if you say hyphen 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 let me say hyphen 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 it would normally crash your device i made a video on that but apple has fixed it on ios 12.2 um and yeah so nice changes so let's take it to the geekbench scores we're gonna run the geekbench and we're gonna see if it really did improve on paper now sadly guys i didn't run a geekbench score on ios 12.1.4 i only have ios 12.1.1 um, but let's just run the geekbench score anyway and there you guys have it single core score 4265 and a multi-core score 10451 if you have an iphone 8 or 8 plus you will see similar scores very very similar so let me compare that to ios 12.1.1 and as you guys can see the performance went down ios 12.2 is a bit slower but we're going to put that to the test we're going to be doing a speed test let's see how it is in the real world let's launch up some applications and let's put it to the test all right so i have no apps running in the background let's launch up the mail three two one okay that was pretty fast Calendar, super duper fast. Photos, <laughs> just breezing through everything. Clock, man, you guys seeing the performance on this thing? It's not moving slow to me. Not even one bit. Wait, this took a while. Hold on. I don't have no I don't have no movies on there. Yeah. Okay, App Store. This thing is just breezing through everything. It feels like the iPhone's 10s. Okay. iTunes Store. Okay, all this stuff varies on your internet connection. Books. Okay. Health. Okay, now let's launch up some third party apps. Instagram. Okay, Instagram is ready to go. Twitter. Okay. See, as you guys can see, third party apps launch a little bit slower, but not too much. Um, what else can we launch? YouTube. Let's launch up YouTube. Okay, it's pretty cool. And last but not least, let's launch up Snapchat. Okay. All right, but not too not too slow at all. Not even slow, not one bit. I just finished testing out the iPhone 6 performance on iOS 12.2 and it was kind of slow. This iPhone 6 is almost to its max capacity in terms of storage. This is almost like a fresh new device. Both of these have 65 gigabytes or 64, I'm sorry, 64 gigabytes on both the iPhone 10 and 6. And man, the iPhone 6 is a, t is a turtle. This is a rabbit. This is going fast. So yeah, nothing to complain about in terms of performance. If your phone is moving slow, just make sure you delete any apps that you're not using, delete any photos. Because those stuff will help. I mean, if you're so close to the ending, like, let me show you guys something. Like, this device, my iPhone 10, I'm only using 24 gigabytes out of the 64. But on my iPhone 6 Plus, I should say 6 Plus, I'm using 44.2 gigabytes out of the 64. Maybe that can improve performance, but this thing was, I was kind of disappointed on the iPhone 6. But overall, guys, should you upgrade to iOS 12.2? 
And I would say, hell yes, <laughs> because one, you get in the AirPods 2 support. AirPods is coming out this week and you get an air power. If you have an iPhone 8 or iPhone 10, you will have um, air power support. You do have wireless charging. Um, another thing, too, honestly, it's like, why not? You get a new functionality. Also, if you have an Apple TV, you can use the remote just like this. Very, very clean interface. And I would say overall, it's just a solid upgrade. Now, if you're waiting on the jailbreak, you should stay where you're at. The lower the firmware you are, the better. But um, if you're just a casual iOS user, this is a fine upgrade. And like I said, and emojis you're getting, you know, just from a social aspect, you you know, you don't want to miss this update. And I mean, come on, you cannot, you can't go wrong with new and emojis like the giraffe, the shark, the owl. Like you, you, you really can't. Um, if you have an iPhone 8, then I'm sorry, you don't get an emojis, but you get in the Apple News Plus and you get in the AirPower and AirPod support too. AirPods too. Let's drop my phone. All right, guys, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, and other than that, your boy Pops. Follow me on Twitter at Simply Pops, and I'm out. Peace.